internet. One game that was basically two games is over. And we are ready for the Missouri Tigers, the five seed and the 13 seeded Ole Miss Rebels. Game two of our marathon day two. Today's game, two home runs that they hit against Kentucky. Ball. Brings three twos up and away. Lassiter with a leadoff walk to get the rep started. Second game in this quadruple header today that started with the leadoff walk. Alabama got 52 with a 416 on base percentage. Pone shows bunt, lays it down toward third, and Pone is retired there. That's a third baseman, Kara Daly. A in the air to left from Smith, a big swing. Kahalen had to come in after starting back. And Claire Kahalen puts away the second out. Furbush red hot the designated player spot. Furbush takes one out to right field. And that ball's caught by Lenzer. Uh, Kaylee Langer, who made the right step in the last moment. Mizzou gets out of a first inning jam. They'll swing it through a sweep of South Carolina. Felt like she saw more this weekend than Larissa had seen all season. Well, he takes one low, a leadoff walk for both pitchers, and a good base dealer is a spinny and deceptive. Can mix in a lot of junk to these hitters. They're going to have to be patient and try to get on time. Oh. There goes Laird. She's on the way to second, and she's in there. Somebody's going to review it. Her base dealer is going to get called out, so she hasn't done it as much. Strike three, Lopez fires one past Honnold, and again. As her motion was coming through. Gallagher smokes it to shortstop, it's a double play. Hit it right on the screws, but right to Ryan Starr, and Lopez. De Leon on the ground to third, that's Cara Daly territory, and De Leon is retired. Four in a row cut down by Krings after the leadoff walk. And that was the ace here. Harrison becomes the number two. It's a different looking pitching staff, but Lauren Krings has really embraced becoming the ace, getting the games one and three of a series. Brady in the center field. Routine for Alex Huddle. Seventh pitch to Delaney Rummel, and it is grounded fair this time. The shortstop, Jenna Laird, ends a one, two, three inning. Good start for Lauren Kriggs. Shortly. Once we see what happens on this 2-2 pitch, because 2 is never a good time to ask a question. <laughs> and strike three called. Hey goes down looking. The second K for Brianna Lopez. Maybe did a little bit differently to hide that, but sit is usually the key for a changeup, and that was still at 64, so not as slow. There's the over-the-top one. 48 miles an hour. Ball. Deep to right from Julia Crenshaw. Two strikeouts in the inning for Brianna Lopez. Look at what these other teams are doing around me. What bad losses do they have? What good wins do they have? How many top 25 wins do they have? What's their strength of schedule as Krings gets a swing and a miss on a rise ball, goes up in the... Should have been there in the last month. A slow ground ball from star to second. And a Gallagher throws her out. And after walking Jayla Lassiter, Lauren Krings has retired eight years ago. Smoked to left field, and Lassiter has the first base hit for Ole Miss. Jayla Lassiter. Stay in there. And ground one right back to the circle. A little shovel pass from Krings gets her out of a third scoreless inning. Harry Daly here will spray one to short. Star snares it. And Brad Lopez has the first out and the home third. Had to shift, and it did to be team first. Ball. And if anybody ever brings up something about themselves around this program, the response now is team first. Not to finish one time through the lineup. Kahalen pops it up. That's the second out. or more on the staff. Laird wakes back, loops one into center field for a base hit, and there goes Langer, who is running on the pitch, and she is safe at third. Just snuck in 
under the tag, and that enables Laird to get to second. And Hoddle explodes in the air to right center field. That ball clangs off the base of the fence as Hoddle brings in two and opens the scoring in game two. It's Mizzou on top on the double from Honnold, her 21st of the year. Look at her stay in on this pitch. This is a backdoor curveball. Starts at her hip and then breaks over the inside corner. She doesn't flinch at all. She is on it. Drives that ball all the way to the wall. And Missouri scores first in this game. Ball. It's a walk for Gallagher. Lopez stayed in to face three straight left base runners. That ball is belted up the middle. Abby Hay with a laser beam into center. Honnold's coming to the plate to score. A two-strike delivery. A mash up the box from Hay, and it's a three-run third for Mizzou. What a great at bat by the freshman, Abby Hay, who has been a leader for this offense. Got her hands out to that pitch. Curveball that just didn't find enough of a corner. Is more out over the plate, and Abby Hay barrels it up toward the middle of the field. Missouri now scored three in Long Island. Committed to the previous staff at Mizzou, followed Larissa here. Oh, she walks, and Missouri is going to bring up all nine in the inning. I would think we're going to see it. But a pitcher converted to a catcher. She felt like Julia could do the same. Crenshaw drills one in the air the other way. That will be the inning. Cleet Thurman strands three. A high and shallow fly will be collected by Honnold in center. To be, what do you need to do to be successful? You tell me. This time Hay finds it in the sun. And Furbish does foul out ultimately. And Krings told her, I want to throw freely. Point for Lauren Krings late in this season. De Leon up in the air to right center field. Angelina De Leon smacks it off the top of the fence and slides in safely with an Ole Miss double. Amy Traxel, a first pitch double sets up Lexi Brady. She attacks early on a ground ball to third. And despite the quick swings, Lauren Krings has a scoreless fourth. Her head coach, Larissa Anderson. Base is loaded two out. Retired Crenshaw on a fly ball. And retires Daly on a three-pitch strikeout. With her curveball and rise ball, even better if that changeup and drop ball have gotten more consistent this year. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back punch outs. Different look. A ground ball off the minute of Clee Thermos, and that will enable Kahalen, the freshman, to reach just her fourth hit of the year. The championship game. Laird puts the ball in the air to left. Pone ducks in to make the catch on the line. A scoreless fourth for Clee Thermos. Ole Miss needs some runs. And it was so calm. Incredibly calm. You would you would think it's eight or nine weeks by looking at it, not by its demeanor. Rumble with a ground ball to shortstop. She's retired by Laird. Cool, and I'm trying to figure out how I can go over there and use ah. it. You deserve it. You're going to have the longest day of anybody here. That's popped up to Gallagher by McKay. We did find out from Larissa Anderson, it's, it's not easy to get a cooling myth, though. You, you need to know some special people to be able to. 2011 and saw it. To third star, and a bunt ground out ends the inning. A one, two, three, fifth. Krings match those numbers on one swing in the third. And then she gets hit by Clee Thermos, and in fact, then it ricocheted and hit Brady in the mask. A double whammy. Raiders, our folks are out in the field who have been out there in the heat and the sun all day. Star from short gets. One at second. Just beat out of first by the hustling Gallagher. Six. Anti, but I'm probably not going to go for it. Yeah. Feel similarly. Yeah. 
Glad we just learned something crucial about each other. <laughs> Popped up by Hay. She's one for three. Well, 3-1 three is inside. Clee Thermos loses Abrascato, who walks for a second time today. I think based off of the old... Gallagher and Abrascato, the runners, on three and one. Ball inside. Which is inside. And the second consecutive walk handed out by Clee Thermos. Two out. And the bases full of Missouri Tigers. Chester down the line in left field, and that ball hangs up for Pone. Lee Thermos escapes it, keeps the Rebels in the fight with two innings to go. <laughs> <laughs> Into the six we go. Jalen Lassiter will lead off for Ole Miss. And Lassiter pops one up to Honnold in center, and she's retired for the first time today. So Lauren Krings back out there to face the lineup a third time. Time for the second fewest walks in SEC games, and the only walk was the first batter of the game in Lassiter. Pone slaps one to a drawn in Daly at third, who fires to first for the out. Post sees it. A slow ground ball to short. It's been the Lauren Kring show. Her defense flawless, her command impeccable, her team. A strikeout for Klee Thermos kicks off the bottom of the six as she gets Langer for the home game was March 8th, Auburn. So a ton of neutral site wins, ton of road wins. Looking for another neutral site win today is Kahalen. This is such a cop-out answer, but... As long as you know it, there's a base hit to right by Jenna Laird, who is on base for a third time, and it does change this time of year. As the season went on, although the sweep against a &M, they look fantastic. Can they get some pitching? Can they slug their way to a title? They'll both play tomorrow. Missouri and Ole Miss, one of them is going to play tomorrow. In the middle of the Ole Miss order against Lauren Krings. Furbush slams one in the air, right center field, and that ball is gone. Ansley Furbush does not want Ole Miss's resume to be done. The super senior and perhaps her final at bat in Rebel Colors has Ole Miss on the board in the seventh. Powerful hitter in the cleanup spot for Ole Miss, and she gets this curveball. Again, works in a deep window the way that De Leon did, and her double that went the opposite way. This is a similar place, except this one gets over the wall instead of just for a double like De Leon's. But this ball was absolutely smashed, continue to travel breaks up the shutout, and also we'll see Lauren Krings come out of this game, likely. A slow ground ball to a drawn in daily. Results in the first out in the top of the seventh. Delaney Rummel on deck, it's 0 for 2. Ball. Brady takes a little high. Ball four, and Ole Miss will bring the tying run to the plate with one out in the seventh. Separated instead of 170 points separated. Rummel, left center field, well struck, but poorly placed. Honnold's there, and Ole Miss is down to its final out. Ever played softball. He's trying to extend this game. 3-1 in the seventh. McKay takes a big rip and pops it up to the right side. And the second baseman, Gallagher, seals a 3-1 win for Missouri. Lauren Kring started it. Taylor Pinnell finished it. The formula all season for Missouri wins completes a victory in the SEC tournament. And it will be Mizzou and Arkansas in a quarterfinal round tomorrow afternoon. Missouri scored in that one inning. I mean, that one inning, the bottom of the third where they scored three, the Honnold two RBI double, and then the Hay RBI single proved to be the difference maker in this game as they go on to take this W. So